Some time ago, there has been a strange buzz that has been called the home and that apparently is driving people crazy and the causes of this phenomenon are completely unknown. It is a low frequency hum that has been reported all over the world and the major effects of this sound are sleep deprivation, insanity and a high degree of destruction. This mysterious sound has been perceived by inhabitants of England, Scotland, New Mexico and most people who have heard it claim that this very low frequency sound invades the mind in some cases can cause suicides because of the despair it produces in the human brain. According to the victims of this strange event, the sound is much more disturbing at night and especially in closed places such as the bedrooms of houses. The source of this mysterious phenomenon is impossible to trace. The most relevant study that has been made of the case is in charge of Dr. Glenn McPherson, who in 2012 was a victim of the bus zinc and dedicated himself to create a database to collect the testimonies of the other victims of the bus zinc and to his surprise, he was able to verify that all over the globe they have heard this horrifying sound. The database is called the Waltham Map and Database. In addition to knowing the number of victims, he was also able to confirm that the main effects of this sound were associated with irritability, anger, violence, and even sleep deprivation. Some scientists agree with the idea that this buzzing is more acute in areas that are highly industrialized than in other cases. It may be the consequence of a biological accident caused by a submarine tracking mechanism which the US Navy used. Because of the length of the wavelength, lower frequencies are able to pass throughout huge structures such as buildings and mountains. Sprinting across the planet and through the ionosphere can penetrate the water of the oceans to over 40 meters deep. But the most accurate theory regarding this phenomenon is the accumulation of herring pollution, since in the last decades the use of cell phones and state-of-the-art technologies has flooded 90% of the world's cities. <laughs> 